I wanted to share one of my vision boards that I did and <clears throat> some of the images that I used and how to use the vision board as a tool for materialization. Um, I want to tell you a little bit of the story behind this. Um, let's see, it's got to be eight years ago. I was living someplace. I had a very successful business for 10 years. This was the joy of art in my other studio. And um, one day, um, my husband and I decided to sell the house that we lived in where we were and move to where we are now. Well, I really went through a lot of hesitation because um, I wasn't sure I wanted to move. I had a really successful business. I was happy where I was. I had my women's groups. I had lots and lots of things, including my friends there. And so I, you know, I had my studio and I really didn't want to move into another studio either. However, um, I finally came to the decision that it was the right thing to do. And I sat down and I meditated and um, as I was closing my eyes <clears throat> I saw this little house here. And this little house was actually in my vision. As you can see it's a little white house and what looks like black is actually green. And so um, my husband, actually I told my husband <clears throat> that day when uh, I went home I said honey I, I saw our house. And so, um, now he was acting, he did some acting, and he was actually in the um, little town that we live now, and he was doing a play. And uh, on the way home, he called me and he said, I saw our house. Well, so um, that week we went to see the house that he was talking about. Turned out that it was actually a white house with green shutters. Now, I really, really felt that this was our house because that same day when we were looking at the house, it was spring and there was a tree in the backyard and it actually um, had little white blossoms on it and one of the blossoms fell on my hand and I said to Bob, I said, honey, this is our sign. Well, okay. so. When I came home from uh, seeing the house, I did a dream board. And on the dream board, I put our house right in the center, this little, house, little white house that you see. Um, and I then collaged um, all kinds of other things that represented um, my next step. My, as you can see, it says next frontier. It says choices. It says, Joy of Art, and uh, of course this represents a new space. At the time, the photo that you see here is of me um, sitting on a stone bench because I really believe that this was my studio. Um, of course, it turned out it wasn't. Um, but I actually know that there was a reason why I didn't get this particular one. Uh, but I know that all the words that represented my new journey on this board was very helpful to me in creating the vision that came about. Okay, well, let's talk about time and vision boards. And also let's talk about things that, that we put on our vision boards that we think is going to happen and actually it doesn't but that doesn't mean your vision board is wrong it just means that that particular thing is not exactly what God had in mind so anyway as I said it took time okay vision boards have their own time God has his own time and so it took three years for us to sell our house, go through the whole process of making that change in order to move into our house. Okay, so today we are 
in our house in Southern Pines and downtown Southern Pines because by the way when I actually had the vision I actually told Bob that our house was six blocks away from downtown well that's what it is okay the reason why I wanted to talk to you about this is because um, it's important when you do your vision board to put all the images in on your board that represent the new um, intention that you want. I wanted to create a new um, place for myself. You know, it's like I was losing my space at um, the other place, the other, you know, where we moved, moved to. I was losing my connections. I was losing my studio. I was losing a lot of things. What I wanted to do is create new things, new places to live, new a new uh, um, new frontier, next frontier, and so a new dream. Um, and so I did this vision board. Now I do vision boards once a year, and each year I put things that I want to create during the year. It doesn't mean that that's all there is to it. You have to continue believing that something wonderful is going to happen. And in fact, you have to continue believing that something even more wonderful than what you think is going to happen will happen. You need to continue believing that your dream will come true. You need to continue working at it. You need to continue affirming and looking at the images and reinforcing the images that you see on your vision board. So don't put it away. Put it somewhere where you can really see it. Put it somewhere where you can really affirm it. Um, and along with that, using affirmations that you are creating your dream. Not you're going to create your dream, but you are creating your dream. The thing about affirmations is important to put them in present tense. Put them as if, write them and say them as if it's already happened. And you know, because your subconscious mind doesn't know the difference anyway, your subconscious mind creates it. It may create it in a way that you didn't expect and probably will. Um, but I can guarantee that vision boards, intentions, and affirmations work. Okay, I'm looking forward to seeing your intention board. I'm looking forward to hearing your magic and what has happened to you when you, um, you know, as you go on this journey, this exciting magical journey, this magical tour, I want to call it. And you create your dream. Thank you. Bye-bye.